A Jackson County judge has ruled in favor of the Kansas City Police Board of Commissioners in a lawsuit over police funding. The board took legal action in May when the city voted to reallocate around $45 million of the department's budget, a measure pushed by Mayor Quinton Lucas. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers is live at City Hall tonight to explain what that ruling now means for police funding. Nathan? Well, Brad, the city took that action back in May as a way of exerting some kind of local control over the police department. And this specific ruling today didn't quite speak to that. Uh, the, the judge said that the city can't reallocate those funds uh, after the budget's already been set for the year. As I think I actually take from this order something fairly clear that there can be a negotiation about what we do with money above the 20% threshold, this year 42%, discussions on next year's budget, which is actually not that far away, roughly five months from being introduced, uh, have already started, and we'll look forward to making sure we have discussions that look to how we can actually work on crime prevention, address the root causes of violent crime. We also got in touch with the attorney for the Board of Police Commissioners, Pat McInerney. Uh, his argument wasn't, wasn't that the city can fund the police department above the 20% requirement that the mayor mentioned just then, uh, but he says the city can't then change its mind and reallocate that after the fact. What the judge did today is to say that the city's attempt to go around that process was improper. Um, it's Again, it's not a comment on the city, it's not a comment on the police department, it's whether this was a violation of the law. I think everybody now expects the city and the department to work together and figure out what the best and most appropriate funding priorities are and to move ahead. Lucas says there are some discussions in the works right now about a possible appeal of that decision. Reporting live, Nathan Dickers, KCTV 5 News. Nathan, thank you.